Happy Thursday, boys and girls. Welcome back for another episode of Number Corner. Today is April the 22nd. It is Thursday. We are so close to Friday. And just a fun fact about me, my mom's birthday is tomorrow. But let's get started with our activities for today. Maybe you can see that we have an isosceles triangle. Maybe it's too small for you. And if that's the case, we will blow it up on this page so that we can fill in our calendar grid recording sheet. So isosceles triangle, here is a um, vocabulary review. Isosceles means that only two sides are the same. Okay, equilateral, all sides the same. Isosceles, two sides are the same. And so we have six here, 10 here. What do you think this side is? It's gonna be 10. So we have six plus 10 plus 10, which is going to give us what? Good, 26 centimeters. Um, oops, and I'm filling that out for the wrong day. So let me put that here. I was like, that doesn't follow the pattern that we talked about. Remember I said it goes down one and then you add three and then down one and then you add three. I was um, thinking that I did something wrong just now. We had a pentagon here. I don't know what happened to our work from yesterday. So I will update that. That's eight, that's 11, that's 15, that's 23. Now that makes sense. Okay, and since we've already collected a full meter and today's our 11th day, we have now collected our 11th meter or 11th decimeter. Um, for our collector. So here it is. And that means we have one and one tenth. We talked about that the other day. 11 decimeters, which is 110 centimeters. So we're not going to go over that again. What we are going to go over again are um, line plots. Remember we talked about line plots the other day? So today we're going to look at a different line plot. Last time it was the average length of beetles. Today it's going to be the average rainfall in April. And we have two different types of graphs here. Our focus is going to be on the line plot. But I really want to point out the fact that there are different types of graphs because they're used for different purposes. This one, we can just see um, how many days had however many inches of rain. With this one, we can see the rise and fall. So like way more rain this day and then a whole lot less. Here, less, less, way more, less. So depending on the type of graph you use is gonna determine how you think about the data that's being represented, okay? So if I were to ask you what's similar about these two graphs, I'd hope you say they show the same information. Um, but it's just, it's different because here, we're looking at it as a number line to see how many day, how many days in April had one eighth of an inch, um, one fourth of an inch, a half of an inch, five eighths, three fourths, and so on. And this one you can see, um, like we talked about, the rise and fall of rainfall. Okay. So before we move any further, let us review some vocabulary terms that we talked about as well. We're looking at the line plot. Here's an enlarged version. We talked about the maximum, which is the largest number in a set, okay? So here's our set. We have set between zero and one. What is the largest um, number for our set? Hopefully you said three fourths because that is the most rain that we're gonna have based on our data in April, okay, for the few days that the um, rainfall was collected. Then we have minimum, which is the smallest number in our set. Which one has the smallest number that has an X represented on top? Good, zero. Zero is the smallest number, which would be the minimum. Now we have the mode. The mode is which one happens most frequently. And hopefully you can see very clearly that there are two days that have one eighth of an inch. That's April 5th and April 3rd. Now I'm gonna throw in a new term, which is median. And median is kind of like, just like what it sounds like. It's in the middle, in the median, it's the middle. 
And you may have heard that term maybe with your parents driving and having to pull over in the median or something like that, which is the middle of a highway. So in the median, we have to kind of consider how many numbers total we have and then find the number that's in the middle. So let's count our numbers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We actually have six numbers that have data in this set. It's just six numbers. And so when you're finding the median of um, an even set of numbers, so six is an even number, then you are thinking essentially about the number that comes in the middle of the two numbers that are in the middle. So let me give you a better example of that. Let's look at these numbers here. I have one, two, two, four, five, eight, and 12. Okay. We need to find the middle number. And so in order to do so, I'm going to kind of consider um, each side. So watch what I'm going to do. I have one on this side. I have one on this side. And um, another one on this side. And then another one on this side. So we're not at the middle yet. And both sides, I can move it over another number. Um, and then, oh look, but I can't do it again. So that means this number is our median. It is the number that is in the middle. Does that make sense? Maybe. Okay, so let's look back at our line plot of our average rainfall. And let's see if we can locate median. Let's first find the minimum. Well, we already found the minimum, zero. And then we found the maximum, three-fourths. The mode, one-eighth. Let's see if we can find the median. So, um, it says drag the different color circles, pink and yellow, over the fractions to the right and left of the median. So, here's a number that has an X on top, so you got to consider that. Here's a number. 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 Oh no. We have two numbers that essentially are in the middle because remember I said we had six um, pieces, six numbers for our data set that have data that's represented. So that means I'm looking at these two numbers in the middle and I got to choose the number that's halfway between each of them. And luckily for us, it's already labeled here, which would make three eighths our um, our median okay we're gonna do another example like that on this page okay so I have we're gonna save pink for our median I have a number here and I need to copy that let me copy it and I'll paste it over here okay and not over there. So I got two numbers here, one here. Now I can keep going. One here, one here, one here. And on paper, maybe you're crossing them off just to see. And it looks like I end up with two numbers in the middle, which means I gotta think about what number comes halfway between four and five. What do you think comes between four and five? Did you say four and math? Let's check. You were right. Good job. So, we have some questions to answer. And it's in your workbook, page 85. And we are going to work through them together. And that'll be our day. So, I'm going to give you a second to go ahead and get that out. And while you do so, I'm going to get ready. Okay. Hopefully you guys are ready. So let's look at, we have the same line plot that we've been kind of practicing with this whole time. It says, what's the minimum amount of daily rainfall? We already answered that, right? It's zero, zero inches. And you should be able to answer this question even without Miss Trammell. Zero 
inches, and I'm going to abbreviate inches. What's the maximum? We did this as well. Um, it's three fourths of an inch. I'm going to type it. That might look so much better than me trying to write on my computer screen. Okay. Um, the next question. What's the difference between the maximum and the minimum? Yikers. What does it mean when it says, what's the difference? What operation should I do? I should subtract. So I should take three-fourths and I should subtract zero. And if I do that, what am I going to get? What's three-fourths minus nothing? Good. It's still three-fourths. So the difference between the maximum and the minimum is three-fourths. And that made it really easy with our minimum being zero. Okay? What is the mode? We just did it. Good. One-eighth of an inch is the mode. And the median. We had to figure that out. Do you remember? Remember, it kind of it would look something like this. Here, 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 here. And now we're left with three eighths in the middle. And we got lucky because three eighths was labeled. Maybe um, when you guys get to create your own number line, you might only represent the numbers that actually have um, data that was collected. And we didn't collect a three eighths of an inch anywhere for the days in April that we were collecting rainfall. So in that case, you would have to think about what number comes between one-fourth and one-half. Just want to point that out. But we do know for now that three-eighths is the median. And we'll keep practicing with this. So number six, I'm going to leave that up to you. What else do you notice about the information on this line plot? What can you learn from this data? Observations, generalizations you can make. Go ahead and fill that in on your own. And that is going to conclude our video for today. I'll see you back tomorrow before the weekend with a game. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.